Before I start the video, I would just like to let you know that even if your BIOS does not match the BIOS we used in this video, the general principles still apply and they should work for you. This is a computer's normal boot up text. Most computers will show this text. Now, most of the time there are instructions that scroll by quickly listed in this text. These explain the procedures to get into the BIOS. The most common way of entering the BIOS is through a specific key that is pressed during the normal boot up text. The standard key in most systems is the delete key. Other possible keys are the F1 key, the F2 key, or the F10 key. The key should be pressed repeatedly as soon as you turn on the computer throughout the entire boot up process until you either enter the BIOS or Windows starts to load. If Windows starts to load, then reset the computer and try the entire process again. Welcome to the BIOS. Please don't be frightened. We will not change anything that does not need to be changed. Our main goal right now is to set the CD or DVD-ROM of your computer as the main boot-up drive. Most BIOSes have categorized sections which are dedicated to specific functions of the computer. For what we need, I need to select the boot menu list from the top of the screen. To do this, I must press the right arrow key until boot is the highlighted area. Now in the boot section, we see that the first selection on the list is the selection that we need to access. Press enter on boot device priority. Now in the boot device priority, we can see that the CD-ROM is the fourth boot up device. We need this to be the first boot up device. Now if we look to the bottom right hand corner of the screen, we can see that the BIOS gives instructions on how to modify the position of any device on the boot device list. Change option is what we need and as the screen shows pressing the plus or minus key on the keyboard will change a device's position. Let's try it. With CD-ROM selected, let's press plus on the keyboard and see what happens. Pressing plus brought CD-ROM up one position. Let's reselect CD-ROM, press plus again and see what happens. Almost there, reselect CD-ROM and press plus one more time. CD-ROM is where it needs to be to boot from CD. At this point, you can press escape to back out to the previous menu. Now it's time to test what we've done. Press the right key until the exit menu is selected. Make sure Exit Saving Changes is selected and press Enter to save and exit the BIOS. This is a confirmation screen. Highlight OK and press Enter to confirm saving and exiting the BIOS. Well, it looks like you're ready to install your operating system. Good luck and thanks for watching. If you have any ideas that you think would make a great video, please send us a message.